Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 14 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to enable partition discovery in copy activity of ADF pipeline. So let's move ahead. So whenever your requirement is to copy data to or from some file system, then you will see this option in the settings, in the source setting or in the sync setting, wherever your data is based in file system then you will be seeing this option called enable partition discovery okay so once you enable this you will see another option called partition root path okay so by default this option is false in copy activity but if you have to use this you need to enable this and we have to specify this partition root path okay so what this exactly does let's understand that so enable partition discovery option is used to specify whether to parse the partitions from the file path and add them as additional source columns or not. So don't worry about this, we will see this in practical, but basically it is used to find out the file path and add that path as an additional source column while copying the data. So as we discussed allowed values are false and true and by default it is set to false okay so once we set it to true we will see this option called partition root path and once the partition discovery is enabled we have to specify the absolute root path in partition root path option in order to read the partition folders as data columns okay so let's not get confused much. Let me go to uh, ADF pipeline and let me uh, show you everything practically. Okay. So before creating the pipeline, let me show you some sample data. So I have two demo containers. Uh, let me go to demo container one where we have a folder called year equals to 2022. And inside this folder, we have few months folder where month equals to 01 month equals to 04 and month equals to 06 inside each of these folders we have days subfolders and inside these folders we have some uh, files okay so this is a csv file similarly we will have uh, another csv file inside all these subfolders okay so what i want to do is i want to copy some files into uh, say abc output container that we are going to create on the fly and in that process we will enable partition discovery so that it will determine these file paths and it will add these as the columns in the output file okay so let me go ahead and let me create a pipeline and let me drag and drop copy activity into the pipeline canvas and here in the source settings, let me create a data set pointing to my ADLS Gen2 account. And let me take CSV format and let me select the existing linked service and in the file system. So let me select ABC demo container one and inside that I will navigate to one of the files present in one of the day folders. Okay. So let me go to month one and day one. Okay. So this is the file which I am going to copy to my output container. Okay. So our source dataset is ready. Similarly, let me create sync dataset that will be pointing to the output container that is going to get created on the fly. So let's select CSV format itself. And here in the file path, let me give ABC output container as the container name that is going to be created on the fly. And let me not import any schema and let me click on OK. So you can see till now we don't have any container called ABC output container. Okay. So that is going to be created when we will run this pipeline. Okay. So now let me go back to the source settings and here we have something called enable partition discovery. Okay. So let me zoom in. So by default, this option is false. That means it is unchecked. So let me hit on this checkbox and as you can see as soon as I clicked on this checkbox it generated this option called partition root path where we have to navigate to the folder path okay so let me click on this browse option and let me click on ABC demo container and I'm not going to select any of the folders okay let me hit on okay so we are just pointing to ABC demo container okay 
Now before debugging this pipeline, let me show you the content of the file that we are going to copy. So as we have selected this day one and this file one dot CSV. So this is what going to be copied to the output folder. So it has this content which is having a column called cricket rolls and these are the contents. Okay. So once we copy the file, that means once this copy activity is completed, we are expecting that it will generate multiple other uh, columns in the target file that will have these details of the folder path of this file. Okay. So let me click on debug. And meanwhile, let me uh, navigate to the container label so that we will see if ABC output container is getting generated or not. So let's wait. Yeah, so the copy activity has successfully completed the execution. So let's go back to the storage account and let me hit on refresh and we will see if ABC output container has been generated or not. So let's wait. Yeah, so you can see ABC output container is visible now and if I go inside this, you can see one file has been generated which is called file1.txt. So why the file extension is txt is because in the pipeline in sync settings, we have something called file extension which is by default selected as .txt. If you want to change the uh, format of the file, you can explicitly give it the name as .csv or anything else. Okay. So since we have already completed the execution with .txt as the file extension, so it has generated .txt in the file name. Okay. So let's check the content of this file. So you can see in the source uh, file, we just had this column called cricket roles, which had these contents, batsman, bowler, wicketkeeper and all-rounder. But in addition to that, we have got additional three columns from the source and these columns are year, month and day. Okay. And if you see the content of these three additional columns, the year is 2022, month is 01 and day is 01. This is the same uh, file path where we are pointing our source file to. Okay. So if I open this, you can see our file is pointed to uh, year 2022, month 01 and day 01. Okay. So basically by enabling the partition discovery and providing the partition root path, we got the additional columns even when we have not explicitly used this additional column option. Okay. So if we would have uh, routed this root path to say uh, year folder instead of just the demo uh, container level, if we would have selected the year folder as well. Okay. So till this point, if we would have selected the uh, partition root path, then our expected output is just month column and day column. Okay. Since we had uh, selected till container level it generated year as the column as well okay so let me show you the same let me hit on debug and we will see if the year column goes away or not so let's wait yeah so let's hit on refresh so you can see another file has been generated because our extension has been changed to csv in the sync settings okay so let's see the content of this file so you can see in this file year column is not there because we have pointed the partition root path till year column okay now instead of copying only one file what we are going to do is i have another container called abc demo container 2 so this container has multiple company names and inside each of these companies we have multiple department names and inside each of those departments we have emp.csv file which has the employee name for this department of this company. Okay. So you can see all these files is having only one column called emp name column. Okay. So if I show you another file from IT department of Infosys company. So you can see we just have employee column having the employee names. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy all the files by using recursively option from all these folders. Okay. And we will see if it is having the correct file path or not. So let me go back to the pipeline and we will just uh, change the file path. 
of this pipeline we are not going to uh, create a new pipeline let me just point to demo container 2 and i am not going to select any folder here i am going to select wildcard file path and let me leave the uh, file name as star because we have to copy all the files and by default recursively option is true so it will go inside each of the subfolders and it will pick up the files okay and in the partition root folder uh, let me navigate to demo container 2 and let me click on ok and in the sync let me uh, point to another output container called output container 2 so that's it uh, now we are expecting it will generate another folder called output folder 2 okay and it will have all the files from this uh, demo container 2 and inside all the files we just have and inside all the source files we just have one column called emp name but we are expecting uh, total three columns in the output file uh, so that it will also have company name as well as department name okay so let's uh, debug this pipeline and let's wait for its execution to be completed yeah so pipeline execution has been completed let's go back to the storage account and let me hit on refresh so you can see one container called abc output container 2 has been generated and inside this we have multiple folders and inside each of the folders we have multiple subfolders called department and if we see uh, emp.csv file so if we see the content of it you can see we have employee name and then there is another column called company which has the company name of this file uh, and if we match it it is correct that is infosys and department name is hr okay similarly it would have generated uh, multiple columns for all the pipe uh, for all the files so let's check in tcs uh, folder in it department let me hit on employee.csv file and let's check the content so you can see employee name coming from the source and company and department has been generated by using the partition discovery option okay similarly for hr file as well let's check in the emp.csv if we are having uh, additional columns or not so you can see those columns are present as expected similarly let's check another file from another company so inside cognizant if i see the hr department we have emp.csv file and inside this we are expecting three columns so you can see emp name column is coming from the source and these two columns company and department are auto generated with, with the help of enablement of partition discovery and it is giving the correct uh, folder path okay so similarly in it department we can see we are getting the expected result or not so you can see we are getting the company and department columns as well so we have seen the practical demo of how to use this enable partition discovery so let's go back to the ppt so if we do not specify the partition root path then by default it will take the file path in dataset or list of files on source and partition root path will be configured with, um, according to the dataset configuration similarly if we are using the wildcard folder filter uh, and we are not selecting anything in the partition root path that is this path if we are leaving it as blank then it will uh, select the sub path before the first wildcard that means it will select up to this level okay so this will be the uh, root path for partition root path so suppose we will be specifying here company equals to infosys and we leave this as it is okay then then this partition root path would be abc demo container slash company equals to infosys till this point it will take the uh, root path if we do not specify anything here okay so 
that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you